know what Paul says to Timothy? He says this, Thou therefore endure hardness. It's not easy. In other words, being, living the Christian life in this world is not easy. But he says endure it. Push through. Endure hardness. Look at this. As a good soldier of Jesus Christ. What kind of soldier do you want to be? You can be a good soldier or a bad soldier. You can be a soldier that always simply just lazes around, amounts to nothing, uh, fulfills the desire of, of the lustful flesh and is not mounting up to anything, not fulfilling the will of God in any way, shape or form. Or you can be a good soldier that pleases the Lord. Look at this. He says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. What a privilege. He says, No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. James, if you can come up and use this illustration. See, if you want to be a good soldier, enduring hardness, moving forward, fighting the good fight of faith, then you cannot be entangled with the affairs of this life. You cannot. So, I don't know whose is this for anyway, by the way. Uh, <laughs> William gave it to me and he didn't know what whose is. It's for bother. If it's any, if it's one of the brethren here, I'll buy you another one. Okay. Um, I asked a couple of men, and they weren't sure. But if this is yours, don't get in the flesh. Amen. <laughs> All right. So this is James. He's a soldier, and he's not. He's entangled with the affairs of this life. He's not enduring hardness. He's giving in, and he's entangled. He entangles himself with the affairs of this life. He goes to work, comes home, puts his feet up, watches YouTube. Or maybe just sits down, looks up marketplace and see what he wants to buy that he doesn't need. Anyone done that before? You, want, you just look and scroll. You don't, you're not even looking for anything. You're just looking for a good buy and for what? You're entangled. You've been there before? And just you're entangled, entangled, entangled. And, you know, eventually what's going to happen if you let yourself go long enough? All right. He's not going to be able to, to war good warfare not using his hands, is he? Or if we keep going not using his feet. To be entangled with the affairs of this life will hinder you from being what God wants you to be, a good soldier that pleases him. And that's the question you want to ask yourself. Who do you want to please, God or yourself? We live our life every day pleasing self. We do. That's why Jesus said, deny yourself, carry the cross, carry your cross, and follow me. Why did he say that? You know what? He's depicting a characteristic of a Christian. He's not depicting someone that needs to deny themselves, carry the cross, and follow Jesus to be a Christian. He's showing, this is how a follower of Christ looks like. He denies himself, he picks up his cross, and he follows me. And today you have Christians that are just sitting on their blessed hope and doing nothing. That's not a good soldier. He's, they're entangled. To get up and say, I'm not going to live for Charlie today. I'm going to live for the Lord. And that means living with every response, God-given responsibility that God has given me. And my responsibility may be different than yours. But what is it? What has God called you to do in the Lord's army? Wash feet, maybe? Perhaps can't do much? but host the people of God, love on people, entertain strangers, be on your knees and pray. How many times are we entangled with debates on YouTube? Christian debates. But we're thinking, oh, yeah, it's fine. It's a Christian debate. It's not a Hollywood movie. But after two hours, what did you achieve? There are some good things that you can watch that are profitable, but we can go into endless debates, endless controversial issues, and do nothing for the rest of our life. One year passes and we're just entangled and haven't lived out the Christian life. This is what can happen. What you got to do when it happens? Mate, just cut them off. I'm trying not to cut your shirt. Cut them off. You know what happens when you get entangled? You just cut it off and now you're free. What things in your life in 2022 have crippled you and entangled you from living to the glory of God? 
Don't blame people. Don't look at others. Not you. Personal response. Don't blame the devil. Don't blame God. Don't blame other believers. Don't blame your spouse. Don't blame your kids. Thank you, James. I mean, this is serious. If we're going to simply live, we, we can waste years, brethren. If we're going to live in 2023 moving forward and warring a good warfare, then we need to cut off anything that hindered us in 2022. What were they for you? 